My name is Michael Mosley, and in this series I've been tracing the glorious history of surgery and the magnificent cast of characters who have taken it from the Dark Ages and turned it into a precise, skillful and life-saving discipline. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I've covered magnificent breakthroughs. You had the tube hanging like a trunk. Ideas that were inspired and those that were deranged. What you do is you bop it, bop it through the skull. But none of this would have been possible without four fundamental discoveries that would change the face of surgery forever. That's it, hold him down. Mapping human anatomy. Managing blood loss. Developing pain relief. Oh, God, that's horrible. And stopping infection. In this programme, I'm going back to surgery's crude beginnings, when it was little more than optimistic butchery. And I'll show you how surgery was utterly transformed into a discipline that, for the first time, would cure more people than it killed. I'm rather excited because I'm about to do something that I have been absolutely dying to do for years now. In the early days, surgeons were not exalted gods, but a rather lower form of pond life. Trained as barbers, they could purge, bleed or cut off a limb. Their most sophisticated tool, the blood-sucking leech. Right, so um, these are our friend the leeches, is that right? These are the friends of the leeches. Now, these are European leeches. We know that because they have got green tummies. What? Be careful. Yeah. I've got one made ready for you. OK. So if you put your arm on the table... Yep. ..and I'll put one in a wine glass. Ready? Yep. Will this hurt, by the way, before? It, uh, it's a bit like dentistry, you know, the 